Hey guys, welcome back. Well, look at that. Today's episode, I'm just gonna be discussing um, why I chose to live out here in Mexico. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I chose to live out here in Mexico. There's a lot of reasons. But um, I'll give you pretty much the number one reason, all right? How's that? And uh, the number one reason as to why I moved out here was for cost of living, all right? Once I got out here, I realized there was a lot more other things, a lot more benefits like uh, way of living, you know, was a lot better. You know, quality of life was a lot better and so on and so forth. There's a lot of other reasons, you know, that are very beneficial to living out here. But if you really want to, if you really want to break down, if you really want to break it down, it's uh, it's really basically cost more than anything else. I mean, I think that's why a lot of people choose to live out here. It's just gotten way too expensive to live uh, back, you know, where we come from. And so a lot of us have chosen to maybe like live here or live other places that are not necessarily here, but other places around. Uh, look, this truck just got stuck here. Now I gotta cross the street and hopefully not get killed. All right, there's gonna be. Anyway, so as you can see, it's uh, traffic. It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon, guys. Tuesday afternoon. So, you know, the, the main reason why I moved out here, the main reason why a lot of us move out here, is basically, um, again, the cost of living. It's it's more than you know. That's that's basically it. I um, mean, you know, we, I love it out here. It's freaking great. I mean, I, I discovered paradise, and you know, probably found the place. Damn, I suck. See, can't do two things at once. You gotta pay attention so I can cross the street. A lot of traffic. All right, here we go. All right, so back to what I was saying. So yeah, I mean, it basically, it basically breaks down to economics. Well, it's not a bad thing. You know, now I got a better view. So it just basically breaks down to economics, and. Um, Everything is just cheaper out here, no matter what the hell it is. Everything. Um, even like, you know, let's just go down to like, let's say uh, Netflix. If you want to get Netflix as a Mexican resident, if you have a Mexican, uh, you know, uh, bank account, well, <laughs> if you have a Mexican bank account or, you know, any kind of like Mexican, uh, you know, um, form of paying, um, then you know you can when you pay for Netflix instead of paying 10 bucks 15 bucks I don't know what you guys pay for it you'll be paying five dollars I think it is in fact I think it's the lowest cost of all the countries in the world or some shit like that so for Netflix and um, you already know there's a lot of things that are cheap out here whether it's food whether it's um, you know living expenses all kinds of shit there. Right. Let me get ahead. This is taking a little while. So, you know, like I was saying, like, you know, everything, you know, for example, you know, we've already talked about rent, which is 200 US dollars for my rent for a townhouse, a two story townhouse. Um, when it comes to electricity, I pay, all right, here we go. We got there. Right. I pay anywhere from you know, 25 to 50 to a hundred dollars, you know, give or take every two months. So that means really, you know, again, anywhere from 25 to a hundred, no, every, everywhere from like, it's around 50 bucks a month, give or take, all right, 25, 50 bucks a month, give or take on your consumption. <laughs> um, so many other things, you know what I mean? Like um, there's certain things that are expensive, gasoline, electronics, um what else what else um electricity is ex expensive electricity is just as expensive or i think more expensive than the u.s comparably and uh that's it you know i mean pretty much it but like at the end of the day i came out here like a lot of us come out here just for a better way of life you know not everybody comes out here um you know everybody comes out here seeking different things but 
you know, when it comes down to it, I feel like a lot of us out there um, are just looking for, you know, a better place to live. That's all. We love where we come from, but in a lot of places out there in the world, you know, it's gotten so crazy expensive where you actually have to look at an option like moving out of the country um, as a real alternative because it's either that or starve or live on the street and uh, I mean you know you could look at depending on who you are you could look at it negatively or positively you know I chose to look at it look at it very positively and um, it's um it's it's been amazing I haven't complained once that's a lie I've complained many times you know about stupid little things here and there like we all do we're human but what I'm saying is, that, you know, like it's it's not, you know, when you add the totality of everything, you can't even compare. You know what I mean? You can't compare, um, you know, living out here to, to living in the U.S., you know? And again, this is not for everybody. There's a lot of people out there that um, might, not, might not understand exactly why, you know, why people choose to live out here or choose to live... Um, you know outside of the country but you know the reality is again you know um you know if you're watching this it's because you've already made that decision whatever you know and um whatever that decision uh, comes as all right we're gonna point the camera the other direction all right because that's it you know i'm not this ain't camera material you guys already see enough of me you guys want to see the rest here right so, all right, give me a sec. It's already getting hot. As you guys can tell. Or not, you probably can't tell. Look at the tourists, hey! So, um, yeah, like I was saying, you know what I mean? Like out here you can come out for dinner or for lunch, you know, and uh, spend five to $10. This is one of the best Italian restaurants out here. And again, it's, uh, you're, you're, you're paying nothing. Here, look, let's look at some prices real quick. So as you guys can see, like um, anything that's um, this right here, this would be like $5, five, $6 roughly five six dollars roughly okay so just so you can get an idea of the prices you know hopefully you guys can see there and this is one of the best italian restaurants out here period and it's pricey you know this is a little pricey but again is it really and look they got specials you know where you know you buy one of those pastas and you get a, you get you buy one of those and you get another one for ten so for like literally under ten dollars you get like uh, a, a beautiful meal for two people in in uh one of the nicest areas i mean there's tons of areas like that are nicer nicer nicest but i'm just you know just uh putting that into perspective you know that's uh it's not so bad out here and as a matter of fact um the reason i'm kind of bringing this up is because in the last several days i've actually come across a few other um gringos i guess you know i don't know what else to say um but a few other expats from the u.s and um you know they're out here on a limited budget so to answer your question so to answer your question oh man it shows a bad time well maybe maybe i can make it maybe not oh yeah i can i can do it all right So, you know, to answer your question on whether someone can live out here for a thousand five hundred dollars, yeah, you know, um, I met a couple people that do. Now, granted, like I was saying, you're living frugally, but I don't know. To me, I think if I had that much, you know, like that's that's a really good income, you know, to be out here. It just all depends on your 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 cost and you know what you choose to do, but with your money out here, but. Yeah, again yes you know the answer is yes i've actually met a few others i've actually met um a few others as well 
that don't speak any Spanish. They speak maybe just a few phrases here and there, very little, almost nothing. And they said that, you know, everything's going great. That everything, um, you know, they, they've been out here for years, you know, maybe not, not, not just even in this part of Mexico, but other parts of Mexico without speaking barely any, any, any Spanish. And they're totally fine. So, yeah. I'm just, uh, you know, just to answer some questions out there, you know, that I've, I, I know a few people have been asking or what have you. And, um, yeah. I've been getting a lot of, um, you know, a lot of requests from people from all over the world. Um, <laughs> they're not, they're, you know, they want to move out here or just want tips on this whole situation. And it's, uh, you know, if we're looking at the news and we're looking at all this other political mumbo jumbo, just pretty much everything that's going on in the world right now, you know, one can see why moving out here is uh, something that uh, is actually a pretty good idea. You know, shit's just, uh, what's the saying? Like, shit just keeps going down all over the place. And uh, people just want to live. People just want peace and quiet. Which again, you know, this is why I really, you know, chose to live out here. You know, just to come full circle, you know, answer that question. Why I chose to live out here more than anything else. Besides the financial... Be besides uh, the obvious financial situation as to why I chose this place. It's, uh, it's it, again, the peace and quiet um, of being able to want to do what you want to do. And again, you know, what I mean by peace and quiet, it's it's really, you know, again, peace and quiet, meaning that you can just uh, work. I'm not talking about the noise per se out, out there, but the noise in your head. And uh, what do I mean by the noise in your head? You already know. If, you, if you're worrying every single day, where are you gonna get the money to pay for this or pay for that? Or, you know, about, you know, the, you know, a, a ticket or a judge or going to jail for nothing or, you know, for littering or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a million worries, you know, things with your kids, things with this. Like so many unnecessary worries, you know, getting gunned down in a terrorist attack, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call it, man. You know, all this bullshit that goes on back in the States on a daily basis or in whatever country you're in, you know, whether you're, you're in France or you're in another part of the world, you know, there's a lot of places right now in turmoil and it's only going to get worse. So, you know, people just want to be people. People just want to live. That's why I chose to live out here. I just want to live. I just want a peace. And uh, knowing full well that this place, knowing full well that this place has uh, a lot of art, a lot of culture, a lot of awesome stuff like that. And that's basically what I do. Then this place, you know, this place seemed very optimal for me. It was very cheap. It's very beautiful. A um, lot of art, a lot of culture. You know, what more can a guy want? So, yeah. I mean, that's why I chose here. But again, there's plenty of places like this, you know, like uh, who knows where I'll end up next. I'm definitely going to be here for a little while. That's for sure. There's a lot of reasons why I'm going to be here for a while. But, you know, I, at the end of the day, I really just want to um, find a home, you know. So this is a place that, you know, I myself can call home. So look at people, how they park here. Look at how interesting this whole parking situation is. In the States, they, wanna, they don't allow, they don't trust people to do things like that. That's insane. How can they allow people to park like that? And so this is what's also about Mexico, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, do it at your own risk. You know, you can park there, you know, but you're responsible for your actions, you know, one way or the other. I don't know, just saying. Just dumb shit like that. Um, but again, some people might not like that. Some people might like it the way it is in other countries. Anyways, who cares about the parking situation? As I was saying, I came out here for, you know, again, the financial situation and just peace and quiet. You know, somewhere where I can focus on my, on my, my work, on my art on my life, on whatever it is. And so again, even if you've got kids, no matter what it is, it's all about quality of life. You wanna be able to spend more time with your kids. If you're older, you wanna you know, relish those years that you have left. You know, if you're young and an entrepreneur like me, you wanna use that time, you know, as uh, 
as and maximize it as much as humanly possible you know what i mean so out here i can dedicate so much more time to doing what i want to do my art my job my career my future as opposed to back in the states where i had to dedicate a large portion of my time to a job that that i hated like a lot of guys like a lot of people out there just to pay rent just to pay bills just to pay whatever and in fact you're working so much you know what i mean you barely go home you're you're always at work so you you know again out here i get to do you know what i mean i get to just you know i'm working i have my job i'm editing you know tons of videos i got clients i got i, I have um you know i got clients out here you know the whole nine you know i'm already doing it all and it's like here a small business person can can really totally make it and how can they make it how can they make it out here because again you know you don't need you don't need three thousand dollars a month to survive you only need a thousand five hundred dollars to survive you know what i mean and again a lot less because i don't need that i don't spend that much money i barely i, ba I survive with everything included like for around eight hundred dollars you know that's i mean so just you know put that shit into perspective you know so it's just that that freedom that's what i mean by freedom there's a lot of freedoms that i talk about when i when i talk about coming out here and being out here but you know the reality is it's like it's basically that freedom that freedom that allows you to open up your mind and, and it allows you to really live your life and not not be worried not be working your ass off all the time you know not any of that shit you know again i work my ass off here but i work my ass off for myself you know i'm not working my ass off for anyone else everyone's totally different you know you could still live out here and have a regular nine to five online you know there's a bunch of ways to work online live out here work eight hours a day at home and then you still got the rest of the day to enjoy paradise and you're probably going to be making a lot more than me at the moment so you know that's what i'm doing you can get paid like 10 15 20 bucks an hour just to like you know teach english and that's anybody you know what i mean and there's like a bunch of other things out there that you could go get and do and then you work up 40 hours a week you know online doing whatever job and um and then you get to enjoy the rest of your life you know back home eight, uh, you know that doesn't you know that's not enough money man that's never enough money so and that's it you know there's just like a lot of um a lot of benefits to living out here you got beautiful weather you know beautiful women men whatever beautiful culture um you know amazing food um every single fucking thing that you're used to from back home they have it here pretty much everything literally and um and that's it i mean again like i tell people just think of it just think of it like if you're leaving like if you're moving let's say you're in uh, la and you need to leave la because it's crazy expensive well wh wherever you're moving to is going to be a brand new place no matter what so why not why not just again go abroad not necessarily mexico anywhere why not what do you have to lose you feel me it's like again if you're going to be why start you know no matter where you're going to go you're going to start out somewhere brand new there's a lot of places out there that speak english as well there's a lot of sun out today let's see if i can get some shape but you know that, that i mean that's it that's, that's basically it guys you know it's just being uh you know being able to f live you know that's it that's why i chose to leave the country you know uh so that i can live and I think that's why a lot of you people out there, you know, also are choosing to, that's why you want to leave the country or wh whatever country you're in. It's just because you just want to live. Some people enjoy that rat race. People, some people are just tired of it, you know? And again, some people are lucky out there to have a really good paying job and career and they've, you know, and they're good and they don't need this, this stuff. This is just for like pretty much every other American or European out there that, you know, has just a regular job you know back when uh, you used to be able to be a janitor or a chef and you'll be able to support a family you know now you no know, no you need like you know to work 100 hours a week to barely you know make it and so does your wife and so on and so forth and uh you already know i don't got to tell you all these things we all have all reasons we, we all have our reasons why we want to move out here but it basically it's uh it's a financial concern you know that's basically it and now here again like a like I've reiterated many times over and like you guys are fully aware already. It's, that's basically it. Out here, things are not that different from 
anywhere else. You know, sure, there are different things, just like if you're moving from Miami to Nashville, from Nashville to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles to Baltimore, from Baltimore to New York, all of these places, Philadelphia, you name it, Seattle, you know, Montana, all of these places are completely 1 million percent different. So again, just think of when you're coming out here, like if you're just moving to a, a part of the country that has a lot of immigrants, you know, like Texas or New Mexico or Arizona or what have you. You know, and that's it. You know, it's, I mean, it's, that's really it. I mean, that's, that's basically it. Again, I come from Miami and this is what feels more like home to me of all the places I've been. You know, um, why? It just because again, this is uh, Spanish first, English second, but you can still survive as a gringo. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys to death. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace out. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Whew, it's hot. I got to get some AC and some, and some uh, Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Later, guys.